Greetings. Thank you for joining us for a chat about how to understand your utility bill once you have gone solar. We've had many customers get in touch with us, confused about why there's a difference between the amount of energy their solar portal is telling them that their array produced and the amount that's being credited to them by the utility. The amount credited by the utility is always less than the amount produced by the, or the amount reported to be produced by the array. Why the discrepancy? Well, hopefully after this quick chat, all will become clear. So let's talk about what happens when you have an array on your roof and what happens with all the electricity. So your array is producing energy, total so solar generation, it comes down off your roof. And if we follow the black line, there's a certain amount of energy that's used before the meter. What do I mean by that? There's a utility meter that's on the side of your home. This measures, measures the energy coming in to the home from the utility. It also measures the excess solar being pushed out and back to the grid. Notice that I use the word excess here because before any of the solar energy hits the meter, it first hits your home. Electrons prefer the path of least resistance. So they're hungry to be used. And as they come off the roof, they're looking for demand. And there's demand definitely on the grid. Your neighbors need energy, but the closest energy demand is in your home. So the first place those electrons go is through your breaker panel and boom, right into your house. Well, all of that energy is never seen by the utility. They have no way to measure it because it never hits the bi-directional meter. So there's a whole chunk of energy that comes off your roof that your home uses, the excess that's produced gets sent back to the grid. And then whatever demand you have in your home at night, cloudy days, you pull from the utility. So the utility is able to measure the incoming energy because it passes through the meter. It's able to measure the excess solar because it also passes through the meter. Well, let's look at a real, real world example and see if it helps um, explain and clarify, expand on what I just said. Here is the dashboard from a reporting portal for one of our customers. This is from 7.13 through 8.10. And it shows on a daily basis how much energy this particular array produced. And we've summed all of those values and it comes to 1.17 megawatt hours or 1,170 kilowatt hours. I'm using kilowatt hours because that's the way the utilities report. So let's take a look now at the bill. Remember the solar array, the production uh, dashboard said that 1,170 kilowatt hours were produced. Well, if you look here on site, excess generation in kilowatt hours is only 615. That's just a little over half of what the portal says you produced. Where's the rest of the energy? Well, let's see if we can find out. Here's the 1,170 kilowatt hours that are coming off the roof. Here's the 615 kilowatt hours going back out through the meter that the utility recorded. The difference between these two numbers is 555 kilowatt hours. So before this excess got sent back to the meter, 555 kilowatt hours was consumed by your home. The utility never saw this. They have no record of it. They can't know about it because it never went through their meter. So 615, they saw, yes, you had excess production after your home had used what it needed to use over the course of that month. 615 was sent back through the meter, therefore recorded by the utility, up into the grid, and stored for you for net metering purposes down the road. At night, cloudy days and so on, you pulled 769 kilowatt hours from the grid. It went through the meter and was therefore recorded. So there are those numbers, 769 pulled from the grid, 615 sent back to the grid. So if we look at this 769, 
and we subtract the 615, that's a difference of 154 kilowatt hours that this customer would be charged for, for energy from the grid. There is right here. Now it so happens that this customer had 154 kilowatt hours credit on the grid. So it ended up that their uh, supply bill total was zero. They paid nothing for energy in this particular time period. But the critical point here is that the 1170 appears nowhere on the bill because 555 of that never hit the meter. The utility has no way of determining what this amount of energy was. So in reality, the amount of energy your home really, or this home really used was the 600, uh, 769 that came from the utility and the 555 that came from the solar, 1324. That's how much energy the, the home actually used. Now let's look at the credits that this home got. They got this free energy from the solar 555 that utility had no idea about. What the utility did see was 615 that got pushed back. And this custom had a prior unused credit of 154 kilowatt hours. That's a total of 1,324 kilowatt hours. And guess what? That matches exactly the total amount of energy used by the home. Hence the zero bill. But again, the explanation for the difference between what the portal is producing, what, what the portal is reporting, and what the utility is crediting, that difference is due to the fact that there's some solar energy that your home uses that the utility is not aware of. Hopefully it is no longer clear as mud, but clear as the sky. The same sky that provides you that wonderful solar benefit. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.